Let's go. Hello. How are you guys doing? Sorry, sorry. I do, I do end up saying hello but way too much in the in the beginning of stream. I just want to let you guys know that I'm excited to see you guys. Hello. 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 Hi. 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 Oh my God. Hi. Hi. Hello. Ooh, ooh, X3. <laughs> I hope you guys have been doing all right. I'm feeling blue. Oh no. I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better soon. I hope, I hope all the troubles in the world stop crashing into you. And I don't know why, but every time I get sad, I feel like every time I get sad, life throws more shit at me. Is that just me? Do you guys feel that too? Whereas like everything will be going like hunky-dory, okie-dokie, funky-wonky. And then like one thing fucks up. And then everything else fucks up. My life is like a damn set of Christmas lights. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Agreed. Maybe it's just my mindset, though. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'm not too sure if it's just my mindset or something, but like, man. Like right now. Man, I'm so sorry. I hope you're doing alright. Go, go drink some water, man. It's okay. I play guitar when I'm sad. I used to play guitar when I'm happy. <laughs> But now I can't even... I can't... I, I, I can't play guitar anymore. I don't remember how to play it. I pick it up and I'm just like, how do I hold a guitar? <laughs> like, my brain just doesn't work anymore. Like, guitar-wise, I guess. Holy... By the way, good content warning, Yuko. Thank you! I searched it up and then I forced a bot to write it for me. <laughs> I sometimes do art when I'm sad. I sometimes sing when I'm sad. 
Usually it just makes me more sad. But then afterwards, afterwards I feel less sad. Less sad, so it's okay. You go dot dot dot. <laughs> you got my new Arachne Kumiko figure arrived last Friday from Japan in One Piece. Yay! What One Piece? The One Piece? The One Piece is real! The One Piece is real and it's a Kumiko statuette. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! That's happiness right there. I can't believe Yuko's using AI to help her stream now. Well, I mean... <laughs> I mean, I guess. That's, that's, one of, that's one of the cooler things AI can do, though. You know? You can just... Not... Write things. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I've been using AI to respond to my dad's emails. By the way, my dad emails me. <laughs> <laughs> my dad emails me, so I email back by making an AI write something fancy up for me. <laughs> so, so I don't have to worry about like the funky email language. I don't know if it's like some kind of weird training or something to get me to be more professional. But my my dad my dad emails me and I'm expected to respond in like full professional speak back to him. It's terrifying. Absolutely horrid. Makes me want to cry every time. <laughs> Man! Just be careful not to use AI to write a court document. Especially if you're a lawyer. Ah, uh, yes, that probably wouldn't work. <laughs> that probably wouldn't work. I think for those things, you make it write it and then you check it over really hard. You know? So you hit your dad with the regards, you can verify. Yes, I did! <laughs> I did! You don't know how much I did. Also, I'm frozen. Don't worry about it. It'll probably fix itself, so it's okay. I thought it was the darn young folks who text or email above talking. What? <laughs> what? Oh no, I do actually talk to him. It's just like, you know, for important stuff that we shouldn't forget about, we email. <laughs> So stupid. It's so stupid. Well, you know, it's better having communication than not having any communication, I suppose. So you know, it's it's. <laughs> Thank you, gel, gelsed, 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 jet, 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 <laughs> gelsed, gelsed. Is it gelsed? Gels? I'm so sorry. I cannot pronounce your name very good. I, I, my, my brain doesn't know how those two consonants sound together. I hope you're having a good day, though. Thank you, thank you so much for joining the Jelly Beans. I hope you enjoy your stay. Ah! Um, <laughs> for most things, there's AI. For everything else, there's Mastercard. Wow, amazing. <laughs> But I don't like talking to people. That's that's why you email them. <laughs> that's why you email them, purchase. <laughs> All I know about Greylock is that dreams become monster or something like that. I didn't pay attention. I watched for the monsters. All I know about Greylock is like something like a tulpa, I guess. I'm not really sure what happens here, but I read like a tiny summary and it was just like thought forms. You can't help but to think about them. And when you think about them, they become real kind of thing. And it's just like, man, that sounds scary. It sounds scary, especially considering that I'm going to be thinking about them now. That's crazy. Absolutely insane. Thank you, Sergeant Reaper, for the super chat. Super chat. Arigato. AI are the, AI are the only good thing. What? AI are only good for doing mundane work for Yuka. Yes. <laughs> Now gather all the AI so they can, <laughs> they can help me write my next dis dissertation? That's too fancy of a word. Report. <laughs> that'll go. That'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. I wonder if how often he sent Yuka emails with Yuka dot 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 as a subject. He is not. He is not at all. <laughs> it is strictly professional when I email my dad. <laughs> so fucking stupid. <clears throat> Anyway, anyway, so today we are watching a lovely analog horror. I'm not too sure if it's analog horror, but it says analog horror in brackets right next to it, so I'm just gonna trust it. Uh, who am I to question the creator? By the way, go check them out. I have linked them in the description. Rob... I'm not gonna try to pronounce that last name. <laughs> He's Rob. <laughs> you know, friendly neighborhood Rob. Don't worry about it. But yeah, apparently this series is very, very, very spooky. There's quite a few content warnings that you need to be aware of. I've posted some of them 
in the uh, the pinned comment, so please check that if you are unsure whether or not you will get the, the spooky dookie this stream. Yes. Also, if you're ever feeling uncomfortable, if you're ever, you know, if your chest is ever feeling tight, or you can't breathe, or, or, you know, you're dying, you're like on the floor, freaking the fuck out, probably stop watching. <laughs> You know, I, I'm not exactly a doctor, but I think that's... I think those are bad things. I think those are bad things. It's one of the content warning stuff. Oh. Oh, baby. There's gonna be a lot of stuff happening. Mm. I feel uncomfortable 24-7 of my life. That's that's okay. Me too. <laughs> Me too. I always have some kind of mild discomfort going on. Whether it's like, oh, my spine feels like it's, a, it's like a tiny bit off. Or like... Oh man, one of my nose holes is still not fucking working. It's never going to fucking work. I'm never gonna have both my nose holes. <laughs> Yuka forces her audience to experience horror. Ah yes. Uh, read read the trigger warnings. If if some of these apply to you and you don't wanna watch, fuck you. <laughs> Stay here, watch anyway. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. If you ever feel uncomfortable, there's always other videos to watch. There's always other videos on YouTube. That's the best thing about it. There's so much shit on there, you know? Go watch a funny cat video instead. Go watch a... Go watch, I don't know, some grown man poop their pants playing a horror game instead. Some stupid horror game, like the Doge in the Backrooms game that I've also played. It's... It was pretty funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a trigger on this list, gotcha, sucker! <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> I have to watch a college lecture, but this stream is gonna be fun, so lecture can wait. <laughs> oh no, it's fine. You probably still have like 10 minutes. You can you can watch a bit of the lecture. It's alright. There's also videos on other platforms. Come on, Jeff. Come on, Jeff. We don't talk about Vimeo. We don't talk about Vimeo. We don't talk about daily motion. Come on, man. <laughs> Amazon video? Amazon... Amazon tube? A tube? <laughs> what? You can even watch Yuka Vots. Yeah, it's crazy! There's so much stuff! Metal restraints wrap around the arms of each viewer. <laughs> ah, yes, I'm gonna get that thing that forces your eyes open. What is it? Speculums? I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Anyway, uh, thank you the Shaggy Nerd for the super chat, super chat, arigato, first time super chat, and I'm happy to catch you live. Greylock is pretty good, so I hope you enjoy it. I heard it is absolutely amazing. Uh, the folks on the Discord have told, told me about it, and they've been like, oh yeah, it's super good. You're gonna pee your pants, man. <laughs> You're gonna pee your pants. Better wear your brown pants for this stream. But yeah, man. Holy, Daily Motion. Now that's a name I hadn't heard in a long time. What? You telling me you haven't watched an entire season of something stupid on, on Daily Motion recently? Why do they why do they make it so easy to find shit on Daily Motion? <laughs> what is Daily Daily Motion is like YouTube's evil cousin. I swear, what is this? It it's very scary. <laughs> well, you're not making me feel any better about this. Should I should I go get like should I go get, like, my plushies? Should I, like, surround myself? You call it's not a speculum. This is a speculum. Ah, that'll, that'll work, though. That'll work. <laughs> that'll work. I'll just shove them, like, between your eyeballs and, like, your flesh. Fuck's sake. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. No, it won't. <laughs> Try it. Give it a go. <laughs> You'll be needing to pee your pants, you I did it for you. What the fuck, bro? What the fuck, man? <laughs> Why'd you pee my pants? <gasps> Those were freshly washed, man. I think that goes somewhere else. It does go somewhere else. Don't worry about it. My eyes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yuka's my favorite Vimeo Daily Motion. <laughs> Yuku creator? What's Yuku? Yuku? Is this YouTube's, like, younger... Stupider cousin or something. What is this? What's Yuku? Thank you, Professor Chess, for the super chat. Super chat. I got the home alone in the dark, and Yuka has me watching more horror stuff. I probably need to be more responsible soon, but I'll see you in the vlog, Yuka. Okay, I'll catch you later. Bye bye. Does does that mean you're going to leave? Anyways, bye bye. <laughs> Yuku is what is Yuku? Yuku is Chinese YouTube. I thought they used like. Billy Billy, didn't they? Oh, well, I guess I didn't know. I'm not very educated on, uh, 
on other, what's it called? Streaming platforms across the world, you know? There's no book for that. Well, maybe there is a book for that, but I wouldn't buy it because I can't fucking read. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, everyone, strap on your diapers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Billy Billy is Chinese Nico Nico. What, what is Nico Nico as compared to Western social media platforms? Men, they also use that too. What? Understandable. Ah, oh, I see. So they, they don't have a monopoly over there? So there's more than one website for video streaming. Oh, that's good. That's good. Nico Nico is Nico Nico. Nico Nico is Korean YouTube. I thought Nico Nico was Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> I was so confused. Is Nico Nico Daily Motion? What? I think we're all a little bit confused. <laughs> Man. How'd you know I wear diapers? I mean. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> okay. Yuka, I'd suggest grabbing any plushies you have and wrapping yourself in a safety blanket. Greylock lives rent free in my head. Well, it will now rent live. Uh, it will now rent live free. Good brain. S stop. Uh. Anyway, we're gonna get into it in now, I suppose. Mm. I have the. Well, I was supposed to use the official playlist, but it's a little bit out of order at the moment. Like, literally, it's out of order. Like, the videos are out of order. <laughs> so, we're going to be using a, uh, a, a bit of a, a fan playlist. It is in order. It has tapes 1, 2, 2, 11! That's quite a lot. Oh, this should take quite a while. I saw two 20-minute videos in here, so... We're probably gonna go up to... Maybe two, three hours? Hmm. How long is the series? I need to pace my snacks. I'm not really sure, actually. I can, uh, hold on, I'll take a look, I'll take a look. So we've got <clears throat> a one minute, a four minute, so that's five, five plus seven, is that 12? Seven, 12 plus eight, 20 minutes, um, plus three, 23, uh, um, thir, thir, 30, what's it called? 32, 33, 40, 50, 50, 62, 82, 84, about 84 minutes, so an hour and a half-ish. Hmm, yes. It'll be about an hour and a half, but I'll probably be pausing every so often, so... Let's get started! Yay! Is Yuka doing the math? This is unheard of. I can do basic counting, okay? I can do basic counting. <laughs> Anything else? No, uh I can't, can't. I'm stupid. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Here we are. Let me, let me, let me make it so you guys can actually see. Because that's pretty important, I think. Ahem. I will be making conclusions about this series. I'll just let you guys know that they're probably going to be wrong. <laughs> so don't listen to me. I'm not exactly MatPat or Wendigoon or Nightmind or anything here. You know, I'm, I'm kind of dumb. But I will do my best to draw conclusions. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's go. Let's see what, let's see what this gray lock is about. I can't imagine that it's, it's like blue lock at all. Primary systems online. Subnautica? Maybe Welcome aboard, complete. Captain. All systems online. Emergency shutdown protocols disengaged. Ooh. System was offline for time code 0106. Contact technician for assistance. Okay, we're having technical difficulties. Story of my life. Why Very good. Operations. What? Please enter your clearance credentials. Oh, uh, do we... Guys, do you have any clearance credentials? credentials oh no! Wrong password! Clearance credential requirement overloading. Greylock is a real place, by the way. Whoa! Welcome back. I'm on user ID. What would you like to do? Accessing archival storage form. Who said that? Should I, Data should I stop? I should probably stop and read that, hold on. Uh... 
Oh gosh, fatal error. Oh no, that's that's not good. That's probably not a good thing. Oh well, good luck with Data that. Data I can drive a forklift. Does that count? Uh, y yeah. So I'm not like a stream one. <laughs> what? What? Data Location more? Why are we extracting data, data from a morgue? Complete. Why do I need the morgue data? All data extracted to error. No what? What was that? What was that last logo? <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Well, that. I guess that was the entire first video. Holy shit. Okay. Right. Oh. Okay. Great. Hold on. Okay. Oh gosh. Uh. <laughs> Hmm, fatal error. Oh, ah. <clears throat> All right. Uh we're extracting the bodies. Let's go. Woohoo! Any any cool juices in there? Maybe we can have another one of those uh what's it called? You know that incident where they found like super old cheese and then super old wine like next to a dead body? Not at, not at the same time. And, and everyone was just like eat the cheese, drink the wine. <laughs> Are we gonna have one of those situations? What are we what are we extracting? Are we extracting like is it apple juice? Are we getting apple juice this time? <clears throat> Holy shit. It keeps happening. We just keep getting more beverages. I just called cheese a beverage. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> when men pursue evil, it is evil that they will find. Mark my words, there is no good that can come from the pursuit of darkness. Let me read to you, dear believer, the words of the late, brilliant Charles Spurgeon, who discussed this at length in oh, okay. sermon all the way back in 1864. He said, quote, Our adversary, the devil, goes about like a roaring lion, seeking to make power. We are taught by our Lord Jesus to pray. Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. It looks like our protagonist may or may not be Christian. Should equally pursue or avoid in action. Very warily, therefore, should we endeavor to avoid temptation, seeking to walk in the path of obedience so that. Because yeah, intellect is unparalleled. Ah, yes, I have come to so many conclusions. We are not to enter the thicket in search of the lion. I mean, you can drink we tea sauce. I mean, yeah, I guess. It's not healthy, but you can technically drink it. What's what's going on with the tree? We taking a whiz? We peeping? We peeping? Sorry, not peeping. Well, we could be peeping as well. What are we peeping on? The darkness. Come on. You heard what that preacher man said. If you search for darkness, you're going to find darkness. Oh dear. Is that strawberry jam? That is some buggy strawberry jam. Yoka! Why? What do you mean? <laughs> it's just peeping. -pee. What, what else do you do during a road trip? You pee pee! Pippin? <laughs> Looks like a strawberry pop tart. Oh no, somebody spilled their strawberry pop tarts all over the ground! <clears throat> Holy. Search for the darkness. <laughs> Found it! It's not me! I'm not darkness! <laughs> Sometimes you have to poo poo before you pee pee. It's true. Alright, is this like a revisiting? I'm not even gonna try. I'm not gonna understand that. Is this like a revisiting? Like, was our protagonist here? And then, like, they came back to investigate the area? Is that why we're having, like, a. Is that why we're having, like, an overlap of, like, the same location but with more, more blood? Is there a closed caption for these videos? No. <clears throat> oh, is there something on that tree? Oh, I see a strange shadow! What is that? A sign! A stick! Oh my god! When we will come face to face with the oh, we're back on the road trip. Okay. Whether we intended to or not, dear believer. 
We are drawn to him by our own hearts. In Matthew chapter 15, And then he just 19, leaves. It says, oh my god, a tree. Watch out, guys, a tree. Thoughts, murder, adultery, oh. sexual oh. immorality, theft, false We're swerfing. Witness, slander. We're swerfing. There is a shadow nested deep, deep oh. within our We are our high beams. Minds. In a place most oh, we offer high beams. We're on our earth. high beams. What's going on? The devil is gonna call did, to those deaths, did something dear, possess our driver? And, though you may travel, and they don't really know how to drive, so they're just being weird about it? On yourself and accept what it Notice is. how the driver seems to be that like they don't know how to operate the car. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Our driver really likes the car. It's like, it's like one of those, it's like one of those, one of those little schoolers learning about cars for the first time. A car with one engine. A car with six V's. Let's go. Skinwalker has learned to accelerate but not to brake. Has it take did it take over the radio as well? Because it sounded like the radio was really distorted. Like it wasn't the preacher going, ah, Jesus. Stop going to go into the dark and getting your ass beat by danger. That's not good. It turned into wow. <laughs> Sounds like my cat. <laughs> Sounds like my cat. Holy shit. I feel car sick now. Uh, don't worry. If you throw up, maybe you'll feel better. <laughs> Man. It's like Splendor Man where they affect electronics. Maybe that's maybe like maybe that's a thing, right? <clears throat> meat load. <laughs> Fuck yeah, meat load. Oh, like Silent Hill. Like Silent Hill. Or like uh like like Phasmophobia. <laughs> The series is pretty fire, but it's also spooky as hell. I think it's scarier than Mandela, personally. Hi, Daz! Dog. Hi, dog. Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Wah! I feel like I'm the only one who's like... Am I like the last person to find out about this series or something? I feel like everyone I know has heard of this and watched it and seen it and knows exactly what happens with it. Like, what is this? <laughs> what is this? How out of the loop am I? Oh, my face is back. Nice. Great. Yuka, is this gonna make me yuke my pants? I only have two pairs of undies left. Well, make that one, because apparently this this series makes you yuke at the speed of light. You're going to tear a hole in your panties. Alright? It's gonna be terrible. <laughs> like, forget the brown pants. You're just gonna ruin them. Holy. When the good made a video about it recently. Mm, frick. <laughs> I'm so out of the loop, holy! I don't know though, I'd rather... <laughs> I'd rather watch the original source material than watch Wendigoon. Uh, what's it called? Wendigoon analyze it first. Because it's just better to like, do your own research first. And like, then compare notes. It feels more like a little group project, you know? Where you just like, have some notes and you're just like, I think it's like this. And then everyone else is like, no, you're fucking wrong. You're fucking stupid. <laughs> it just feels better. Yuko, why does it sound like you have experience with sharding holes in your panties? I don't actually. <laughs> I don't actually. But yeah, I like coming up with my own thoughts as well. I like I like thinking about my own things. Ah, I mean, they're also pretty fun. It's also pretty fun to think about it with you guys. Yeah, Wendigoon is the goat. He is, honestly. He's crazy. How does he do all this stuff? I prefer watching analyses because it's easier to digest, but that's just because I like to watch stuff while doing other things. Me too! When I'm just like, <clears throat> when I'm not feeling too committal, committal? Committal to a series, I just watch analyses. Analyses. Like, for games like Silent Hill, that I can't really get my hands on a copy. Or like, or like series is like, what, Rule of Rose? Where I don't really want to play it, it looks like it's a slog to get through. I'd rather just watch ana analyses. Analyses. <laughs> I've experienced with shitting holes in my underwear. <laughs> she must be using my research. <laughs> what? Dance? <laughs> Holy shit, Rule of Rose, I love that game! Yeah, I've been watching people talk about it for a while, but I'm too scared to play it myself. It looks it looks kind of like a pain to get through, honestly. 
<laughs> wow. Roll and Rose costs, costs so much anyway. Does it? I did not know. <laughs> Anyway, back onto the videos. I'm sorry, I got a little bit distracted. <laughs> this video cassette is intended for the sole use of who? Who? Alexander Michael Marsh. We gotta keep that in mind. Alexander Michael Marsh. Very, very nice. Okay. Greetings and welcome to the preconditional protocol. Oh, this is kind of like uh, Gemini, huh? It feels like Gemini. As part of the United States Army and Project Stargate, created in partnership with Simeodyne USA. On behalf of all of us here at Unit 13, congratulations on your selection as one of our testing candidates. Yay! You luckily have a lot of questions, mm -hmm. and this video is designed to answer them all. First, let's go over some background information to provide you with the crucial context you'll need for a full understanding of what it is we're doing at Unit 13. Okay! We are sure you've heard plenty of rumors surrounding what it is that we do, but we are willing to bet that most everything you've heard is wrong. Being a highly confidential part of Project Stargate, which you've already been briefed on, Stargate? Unit 13 studies a revolutionary and promising area of parapsychology. Thought forms. Oh. If you're unfamiliar with what thought forms are, that's okay. You're in the majority. So, what are thought forms? Through the ages, occultists and spiritualists, Tibetan monks to theosophists, have exercised the creation of what is sometimes referred to as a topa, otherwise yes. known as a thought form. Topa. A thought form is the manifestation of a person's will, emotion, or other deeply psychologically energized state into oh. a semi-physical form, existing as not only an extension of the person, but as its own independent and sentient entity. Project Stargate? Is this like a real thing? It's a reference to a real star... It's a real project? What is this about? Okay, so this this might just be a government tape then, right? This, is, this might be a government tape, considering that the Stargate project was a government thing. Or a US Army thing? Was it a government thing? Does that count as government thing? You know what, it, it's basically government thing. Army is feds. <laughs> Army is feds. Army is feds. What are you? <laughs> Are you are you part of the navy? You're a fed. <laughs> it's loosely based around it, I think. Okay, well I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and just go this this government operated. Although it is already stated that it's already by the US Department of the Army, so I I'm not really sure why I'm coming to a conclusion that's already, you know, right there in front of me. Me is dumb. <laughs> Anyone I don't like is a fed. <laughs> I disagree with your opinion, therefore you are a federal agent. How dare you? <laughs> what branch are you, bruh? <laughs> uh, uh, the, uh, you, uh, you haven't heard of it? It, it, uh, it, it goes to another country. Hmm. <laughs> Thought forms are also able to be witnessed and experienced by third parties Whoa. and are not limited solely to the person who developed them. Thought forms okay. have been formed to serve as familiars, companions, familiars? or even friends to those who conjure them. According what? to the That's sick. thought forms can be intentionally formed by a single person or multiple people, okay. though they can be unintentionally formed as well. But they are always manifested through the deep will and focus of a person in a considerably heightened state of connectivity with their own consciousness. Traditional thought forms can vary widely in their level of influence in the real world. While they usually take physical formations eventually, their earliest stages are more apparitional in nature, with deep manifestations, though most often remaining as an unseen essence, much like a phantom or a ghost. Ghost! Oh, space, thought spooky. forms and ghosts are very similar in a number of ways. Individuals can make contact with them through communication devices, such as a Ouija board or through EPP sessions, board. while the thought form may respond through moving objects, manipulating electronics, oh. or even speaking words and short phrases. Due to their striking similarities, a current theory established by Unit 13 suggests that what we know as ghosts may not be as common as we once believed. Rather than a deceased person's energy being left behind after death, it's possible, and indeed likely, that these paranormal entities are actually thought forms that are unintentionally created by those individuals that the deceased has left behind, who spend inordinate amounts of time in deeply emotional states, where their mental capacity is largely occupied by a powerful focus on the departed individual. 
in other words. Ghosts are now real checkmate atheists. What do you mean checkmate atheists? Do atheists have any like, what's it called? I don't think they have a policy on ghosts. <laughs> policy on ghosts? Is that is that correct? No, but like this is the whole time I've just been thinking, right? Just because like the first video had like clips of like preaching and like Christian themes, right? I'm just thinking like is is God a thought form then? <laughs> Who? Is is God a thought form in this universe? Could that be a thing? Is that is that a thing that we should be worried about? When when the thought forms attack, do we need to worry about fucking God? Which is a bad thing, right? I mean, we've made God out to be like an omnipotent, omniscient thing, right? If it starts attacking people, oh God, we're fucked. We're, we're fucked as hell. <laughs> we're all gonna die. Oh no. Thank you, Common Astartes, for the super chat, super chat. Arigato. I genuinely like how this suggests ghosts or tulpas. Me too! I think that's really cool! I think that makes a lot of sense. Like, of course! Yeah, duh! Of course they're made from, like, the emotions of the- of the grieving. Duh! Wow! Oh my gosh. <laughs> she has a point chat, she's figuring it out! Run! <laughs> ah! Man. So the devil could be real too? The devil could also be a thought form. Yeah, that's true. Thought forms are born. People may very well create their own ghosts and hauntings. However, as more time and energy is invested into the development of the thought form, they begin to harness more influence on their environment until eventually exhibiting a semi-permanent physical appearance. Whoa! And All right, guys, if you think hard enough, if you will it hard enough, you can get that big titty goth GF. I believe in you. Will it? Use your brain. Use your big noggin. Use it for something. In due course. Coming as tangible as a living creature. This is where Unit 13 Oh yeah! Comes in. <laughs> Manifest the Three girlfriend of your dreams! Question. Can thought forms be created in a manner that would benefit American society and help keep American citizens safe? Unfortunately, the of course. practice of intentionally creating a thought form. The American way. In all in all movies, video games, and otherwise, it's always how can America harvest this unpredictable, very dangerous concept for public safety, even though public safety is endangered by the thought of experimenting with these things. Man, I hate how they make America out to be so stupid. It's poor, poor America. You don't, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve this, America. You don't deserve this. Thank you, Opium for tea, for, for tea masks. For the, for the super sticker, thank you, thank you. Wow, super sticker, arigato! Also, thank you, Edwinella, for the super chat, super chat, arigato! I love this tape. This is what the feds showed me before I created my yukatopa, and it yuked all over the government facility, causing a shutdown. Oh my god! <laughs> Are you serious, man? You made a yukatopa? That's... Sh oh, shit, what if it comes hunt me down? Because it wants to be the real yuka. Oh. What have you done? What have you done? I'm going to die. <laughs> Does she not know that they actually tell people not to shoot hurricanes with shotguns? Wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 what? What? What do you mean? What? What? What do you mean? You don't? What? Well, I guess America is one of those countries where it's like you get told that a coffee is hot on the lid, so you don't burn your widow tongue. Isn't that a thing? We don't have that there. We just have like a blank cup. We're just expected to not burn our tongue. And if we do, it just means we're stupid. <laughs> Get yelled at. Man. Who's gonna tell her? Who's gonna tell her what? What are you guys not telling to me? Like giving LSD to dolphins, strapping napalm to bats, intentionally giving minorities AIDS? Intentionally? Why are you guys doing that? What is this? What if you guys actually just are tulpa? It did say that multiple people can manifest one tulpa. Ah, yes, I am the culmination of your thoughts. <laughs> you made me! You made me like this! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was because of McDonald's heating their coffee to insane temps. I mean, it's another way of preparing coffee, right? To, to heat coffee up very, very hot. In America's defense, that coffee incident involved a cup of coffee over 95 degrees Celsius and caused the victim serious burns. Huh. 
I mean, to be fair, coffee, you gotta boil water for coffee. I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you guys. Coffee is gonna be hot. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, thank you that one dead guy for the super chat. Super chat. Arigato. Wait, does this mean Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends is real and is actually a government facility collecting children's thought forms? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, you boil the water, but you don't just give people boiling water, you silly sauce. Hey, it's fresh coffee. <laughs> it's fresh coffee, alright? It's fresh. Let's go. Look at the Americano. I have no idea what Americanos are. Uh, Americano, espresso, hot water. Yeah, it's mostly just watery coffee. <laughs> yeah, it's hot water. It's, you got that coffee wasn't boiling water hot, it was metal melting hot. It gave the woman third degree burns. I mean, you can get third degree burns pretty easily. <laughs> The coffee that caused the room <laughs> melted in the old woman. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> you guys make it sound like she was like melted head to toe, like into a gray slop. She just, man, I feel bad for her, but like, could you not like, I don't know, feel it was hot from the cup? Yuka, she was traumatized. Yuka, you're doing this on purpose. Look, I just... I just, you know, I haven't melted my tongue off on a cup of coffee without, you know... <laughs> without a warning. Uh, yes, she did, and then she dropped it on herself. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, rest in peace. Poor, poor lady, poor lady. What do you mean, what have I done? What have you done? What have you done? <laughs> you gave them ideas. What do you mean I gave them ideas? I didn't give them any ideas. There's a point where things are so hot they just taste like fire. I guess so. It was in a drive-thru. You don't have a lot of room to maneuver. <laughs> That's your first mistake going through the drive-thru. <laughs> there was one point in my life where I really wanted to go through the drive-thru. And every time my mom would take me to like McDonald's or Hungry Jack's, I'd be like, Mommy, I want to go through the drive-thru. The drive-thru is so cool. I love the drive-thru. I want to go to the drive-thru. But every time I would ask, my mom would just be like, no, the drive-thru is for degenerates. We walk into the store like <laughs> like good members of society. And I was like, what? 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 I just want to go through the drive-thru. Look, those people are going through the drive-thru. My mom would just be like, they are degenerates. Do not be like them. And what? My mother is wrong. She is. She is. She is. Now, now that I drive on my own and she doesn't watch me in my car anymore, I go to the drive-thru like every single time. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. <laughs> <clears throat> you mean like the spice hot or temperature hot? I'm sorry. I'm just, I thought I thought you were going to say like the Spice Girls hot. <laughs> I'm so dumb. My brain is just that. Because it's yes for both. Is coffee a spice? Hmm? You can drive, that's dangerous. No, I'm good. I'm very good at driving, trust me. I'm not gonna get taken over by a tulpa or anything. I'll be fine. <laughs> Why not? It just means I can drink straight from them. Don't blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Anything can be a spice if ground fine enough. Huh. I guess so. I guess. Coffee is not a spice. Yeah, but you can like you know, people have used coffee grounds to, like, season their meat before. I've seen them do it. They're a little bit insane, but I've seen them do it. So, maybe coffee can be a spice. Yeah? I mean, we use other beans for spices. Why not coffee, I, I guess? I don't know. Ooh. Anyway, back to the video. Ah! I'm sorry. Back to the video. By traditional methods would undoubtedly take years and years of devout mental training. So, Project Stargate has enlisted... Alright guys, you heard it here involved. first. If you become a monk to the U-Cult, you can manifest your very own Yuka in your room to shit on your carpet for you! Amazing! ...forms a man named Dr. Bernard Hayes to oversee a number of the operations related to Unit 13's work. His participation has been invaluable and has brought fruitful results to the project. 
Cool. Due to Unit 13 and Simeodyne USA's combined efforts, bringing together some of the most prestigious minds in the world, specializing in the sciences of the human consciousness, with cutting-edge technology and engineering methods, we've created a groundbreaking, proprietary invention. Hmm. Introducing the Thought Form Manifester. The Thought Form Manifester Whoa. is able to create truly independent and self-sustaining Thought Form entities from the minds of Cool! Survival. So we've, we've automated Topa they making. They the deepest recesses of the human mind. Thought Forms can appear in virtually any configuration. They could look like a person, an object, an animal, or even something as abstract as the physical representation of an emotion. Hmm. That being said, it's cool. recommended to brace yourself before touring the thought form chambers, as thought forms can also take on appearances that could be considered disturbing, like a. Wait, wait, wait. Last time I heard of someone making a tulpa was on 4chan and someone making a pecora tulpa. It didn't turn out well. Why? Why, Why pecora? Why pecora? You're literally asking to get murdered. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> this can't go wrong at all. Of course not. It's because it's their Oshi. Yeah, but you could like... Why not try something a little less dangerous before you get straight into it, right? <laughs> I don't know. Manifest like a Teletubby or something. Chill. <laughs> Someone made a Pinkie Pie Tulpa and it wouldn't stop screaming. Ah. Of course, of course. Don't make tulpas, it hurts them as much as they hurt you. <laughs> All VTubers are dangerous. <laughs> it is true. Don't manifest any VTubers, they're all clinically insane. Cut, cut, pickle, cut, pickle! <laughs> oh my god. Creature one might see in a childhood night. Whoa! Spooter. There's no reason to be afraid, however. All thought forms are docile by nature, and while they may look or behave oh. in a frightening manner, oh. although they are capable We're of making We're physical out. contact, they pose no threat to humans. Once your session in the thought you form, go, what the fuck was that noise? That was me manifesting my Picora Topa. Transported directly into a containment chamber. Okay. Thought forms are unable to pass through the barrier of the and will not be capable of causing you any issues. Okay. There are some very rare potential side effects that may result from your session. These side effects include increased tiredness, loss of balance, dizziness, insomnia, vomiting, episodes of temporary amnesia, and mild hallucinations. I wonder if when the, uh, when the voice gets a little bit deeper than usual, perhaps that means that the info is perhaps outdated? Or it could also be a lie? So when it said mild hallucinations, maybe it's... <laughs> It's implying that the you get more than mild hallucinations. You get something perhaps dangerous. And it it went down like a couple of tones when it talked about how the topa couldn't harm you and it couldn't go through walls. So I'm thinking those are probably lies. They're probably fake. Hmm. Like the data was altered a little bit, maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Just a voice crack. He's young. <laughs> he doesn't sound young. He sounds like he's old enough to be my grandpa. <laughs> All right. These side effects, if present, will clear up within 72 hours of your session yes. and are simply <laughs> Apparently this is like the the symptoms of dehydration. So if you're experiencing these, it's probably just you not drinking enough water. Don't freak out. <laughs> I think it's a lie when it gets distorted. Yeah, yeah. Pops, is that you? G Grandpa? So your brain recalibrating to the real world. It is recommended that you refrain from driving. Unless if water is stronger than tulpas. True. What if the <laughs> What if the best way to get rid of a tulpa is just to drink water? Speaking of which, hydration check, everyone, you should drink some water so you do not manifest a tulpa. Very, 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 very smart idea. Go drink. Go drink water. Two hours after your session, even if you experience no side effects. None of these side effects should cause you any harm or overt stress. Okay, and they're going to cause you harm. Candidates who have experienced these side effects reported that they were very mild and merely a transient inconvenience. Okay. With all of that out of so the way, so our topas rabies. Maybe. Your time in the platform manifestor has been scheduled. 
However, there are several requirements. Wait, that's what happens when I don't record it? Yeah, you better start drinking water, fool, or else your tulpa is gonna shank you in your sleep. Video system that must be completed prior to your scheduled date. Remember, you cannot create the tulpa if you do not think true. Results. Please enter the video cassette label TF2. Waking TF2? Team Fortress? This is the end of this tape. Team Fortress 2? Holy shit, we're playing Team Fortress 2! Oh, this is tape 4. What's happening here? What's going on? Oh! Ooh! Oh, I don't like that! Oh, that's not good. Someone has entered your house. I am in your house. I know what you love. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, we're we're back on the road. We're getting the fuck out of here. Team Fortress 2 stream when you got I don't know! Team Fortress 2 was my first Steam game. Back then when I couldn't add friends because I didn't have any games on Steam. Hmm. You can leave that family alone. <laughs> Hi, Jake from State Form here. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, we should make a Yuka community TF2 server. Oh shit, are we the intruder now? Hi. We just peeking in through the window, don't mind us. Okay. I feel like with a lot of analog horrors, there's always like a little peeking through the window scene. It's nice, it's a little comforting that it just keeps happening, you know? Bro, why are you turning your flashlight on? Bro, why are you turning your flashlight on? Turn that shit off! They're gonna see you! You cause that a light topa? Perhaps. Perhaps. Maybe. Mm, hey, Vsauce. Michael here. <laughs> How good is your security? <laughs> Peeking through people's windows is comforting, Yuka. No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Don't take that out of context! Alright. Oh, I sure did. Pick that shit up. Can bash things with it. Panty raid. <gasps> sure, an analog horror is fine, but when I want to peep into people's windows, I get called a creep. Yeah, absolutely horrifying. It's not fair. It's simply not fair. <laughs> you can know how to spy on you through your window. I do. I'm looking right now, actually. Why are you grabbing your crotch like that, bro? Gross. Okay, what are we doing now? We're on the floor! Open the door, get on the floor, everybody do the dinosaur. We wanna see! Oh! Oh, they actually did open the door! Oh, the window. They're, they're stealing things from the window. Cool, great, nice. Good, I'm on the third floor. I'm crawling, I'm crawling, I'm crawling up the bricks to your window. <laughs> How did she know? <laughs> okay. Is this still the same protagonist? It'd be real convenient if it was. Okay, we're breaking and entering, but it's okay because, uh, just is. It's okay because we're a protagonist. Oh god, you're so fucking loud. Shut up. Okay, we're peeping. Okay. We're, we're in. Hacker voice, I'm in. Gonna steal their, gonna lick their ice cream. God fucking dick, we're dis disgusting. doing this right now? Super legal, by the way. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm sure it's fine. It's fine. I told you this was a protagonist. Oh. oh, that's not good. Are... Oh, wait. Is this... Are were we breaking and entering because we're possessed? Is this the same protagonist? This could be a same pro protagonist. 
This could be the protagonist that went out there in the snow and got possessed and took something home. <gasps> Boom. Ah, it's the moon! Wow. That's good. That's a nice shot right there. That looks lovely. Wow. Love the branches. Very cool, very cool. What the hell happened? We got the Topa POV. I'd like to thank my producer, you, sir. my right, right, writers, my director, director, my friends, and you, the ordinary PP people who made me what I am today. Where the Next fuck does your hair start? The moon lighting tomorrow. <laughs> they did love me. Are you bald or do you have hair? Is he bald or does he have hair? We interrupt our current program what? at the request of the Massachusetts State man? Police. Oh. This is the emergency broadcast system. This is not a test. All normal broadcasting has been discontinued during the emergency. Oh, no. This station will broadcast official room. information, oh, news, start? and instruction for Northern Berkshire County, Massachusetts, after the following tone. Watch out, Massachusetts! This is the scarier, scariest part. It takes me back to drive through worker PS PTSD. Oh no! That was an assault on the senses. <laughs> He's excited to be a dad, huh? Oh, I guess yes, protagonist is dead. Certainly is. We we both can't wait to be parents. Aww, Why are they yelling? It's late. You've been together it's, since high school, right? Maybe it's like that thing where people scream before the exams for for stress relief. You know, like like in that one country. I forgot what, what which country, but like there was this one clip of like. Someone screaming out the window, and everyone just screaming back, and it was great. A true community moment. Yep. That is so sweet. And have you decided on a name for your baby boy yet? Yep. We're going with Max. Ooh, Max, huh? Mm -hmm. That's a nice, strong name. <laughs> That's why my fiancé wanted it so bad. He says it'll help make him strong right off the bat. That's a pretty good way of thinking about it. So let's see how strong little Max is so you can hurry up and make that call. Yes, please. He's been moving around like crazy the I past think... couple of weeks. I think we're listening in on like a CT session. I think he's really strong. CT? No, ultrasound. There Stop we go. Kick so hard, I almost 
grow up sometimes too. <laughs> oh, what a wild boy. Activity is good. Yep. Okay, hopefully this isn't too cold. No, it's okay. <sighs> oh, baby! There he is. He's definitely a growing boy, that's for sure. Whoa, and baby. you're both looking really good. Oh, <laughs> I love hearing that. Let's get some measurements to see exactly this how This is the clearest picture of seen of an ultrasound baby before. I just want to let you guys know that my ultrasound pictures, they look like shit. They look like somebody, like, threw them on the ground, stomped on them a couple of times, and then spat on them. Alright? This, this is very good. This looks very, <laughs> this looks very clean. What the fuck? Exactly how much he's grown. You guys had a baby ultrasound? No, the, the baby pictures I have of myself. They're still in my closet. Yes, they're still in my closet. <laughs> Your ultrasound? Yeah, when I was baby. Oh. <gasps> what was that? I don't know. I've never seen that before. Der baby? Der baby just TP'd! Holy shit! What the fuck? You keep those in your closet? Yeah. Where else would I keep them? <laughs> Give, give the baby back. The power. Where the ball worm goes. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Mams, do you not see that the baby is gone? Oh, they don't have power. My bad. Um, this is a bit strange. What? What's strange? Nothing to worry about or anything. Just having some trouble finding the baby all of a sudden. Maybe the machine messed up? Possibly. But I can still see everything else. It's just not picking up the baby for some reason. Has this ever happened before? A phantom pregnancy! <gasps> oh my god! Could it be? She told- She manifested the baby! <gasps> she manifested it! You- <laughs> You- Oh my god! Could it be? Is it? Have you guys heard of a thing called phantom pregnancy? It's, it's when a lady thinks they're pregnant. Like, really, really thinks they're pregnant. So much so that they manifest symptoms like, like perhaps morning sickness or weird cravings or, or nausea, alright? But they don't actually have baby. But they think they have baby. They think they have baby so hard that it seems like they do have baby. And sometimes you can trick other people into thinking you also have baby because, you know, the symptoms just line up so well. Maybe she had that and she manifested so hard that she got a tulpa to exist in her womb. Isn't that crazy? That sounds terrifying. Right? Yeah! I think, I think that might be what's going on here, but I'm not too sure. Again, I'm just coming to random conclusions and just seeing and just throwing things at the wall and seeing what sticks. But it does seem like that might be what they're hinting at right now. Um, well, sometimes babies can move into certain positions that are hard to see. But, but, but you can't see my baby at all? I'm looking. Don't worry, he, he's definitely here. You know what? Why don't we just see if we can borrow another machine, okay? There has to be something wrong with this one. I'll be right back. Um, okay. Oh no. <clears throat> Dorothy, it's not that hard to see that fucker is gone, gone, gone. <laughs> yeah, but you don't want to freak out the potentially pregnant lady, right? Look at her. She's having a panic attack now. Look what you did! <laughs> no, 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 no. Is it after me? Is it after me? Is this Tiffany? Okay, I think we're seeing like a little history and what happened. So, let me see if I can try reading this. Uh, Tiffany Marie something something. Elementary school teacher, 29, at something something something, died, di died unexpectedly Monday morning. 
what? Okay, I'm finding it very difficult to read this. I might have to like back up a little. Hold on. Oh, I'm struggling. Child of hers, top of her sheet. What? I can't read this. I can't read this. Did she, did she die? Hold on. Is there a clearer image of this? Hold on, let me, let me back up a little. Maybe, maybe it'll be a little easier to see here. Okay, so... Um... She was the only child of these people. Um... During her freshman year of high school, she began something... Dating? She began dating Alexander Marsh? Oh, fuck! Alexander Marsh! Alex Marsh! It's the guy who was allowed to watch the video! All right, so maybe this incident, this incident of his lover, lover? <laughs> maybe this this caused him to like get into all this tulpa shit. Maybe I'm not sure. Or perhaps it's the other way around, where he's just like, you know, it's already happening and it's affecting her, and that's why she's saying stuff like, "Oh, is is it's chasing me or something," right? Because maybe she saw the, maybe she was part of the tulpa experiments. Where they put her in, they put her in a room, a rubber room, a rubber room with rats, and rats make her crazy. No, but they, uh, they made her manifest a tulpa, and they trapped it in a room, and now it's out of the room, and it stole her baby, or something. Something like that. Jeepers creepers. Crazy! I was crazy once! Humanity. Alright, this is tape six. Let's see, this looks like a presentation. Humanity was still tired of oh, subtitles. Thank God. Okay. Oh my god, Jungie in psychology, I learned about this. I learned about this. I did like a whole rabbit hole on this, but I don't remember what any of it means anymore because that was like 10 years ago. Ah. Leaving their towers of work behind to be climbed by coming generations. Higher and higher they were said, so that we were the last piece of one called God. And there, on his apex of infinite knowledge and power, Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, okay. All right. Thank you, Simeon. Oh, hello, Twitter. we're back. Please enter your credentials. Credential requirement bypassed by system administrator. Okay. Greetings, but no user ID. Welcome to Simeodyne USA's virtual message assistant for user. Project director, Glenn Porter. Establishing okay. custom telephone message settings. Sender, Paul okay. Morelli, of the Morelli Construction and Mining Company. Paul Dates Morelli. Dates of receipt ranging from March 24th, 1987 to March 30th, 1987. Beginning playback of your messages. Okay, cool. Message one. March 24th, 11.14 a.m. I got messages. Hey Frank, it's Paul Morelli. We ran into somewhat of an issue today. We came across these tunnels inside the mountain. Crazy thing, but uh... Well, this is gonna sound a little crazy, but... He told me to call if anything strange came up, and uh... I figured this qualifies. People have been here before. Ooh. Obviously man-made shit in there, like... Carvings and stone. Tunnels in the this mountains! Shit was like real old. Funky. I took a crew in to look through it. Watch you smile. You smiling, Lex. Part of the tunnels caved in some time ago. We're gonna just have to bust through it regardless. But I still wanted to make you aware of it. Anyways, Is I'll you keep smiling, Lex? Thanks. Okay. Next video. Message two. March twenty fifth, seven thirty eight a.m. Hey, Frank. Oh no, it's the same smile. Just okay. wanted to tell you the day might be a bit slower than usual. Unfortunately, a number of the crew are sick as dogs. Not a 
I'm not really sure what kind of stomach bugs going around or what, but we'll do our best to pick up slack. I'm calling in some guys who have a day off, so uh, hopefully things will get Something a little closer was normally, in the you know? tunnels. That being said, I don't know how the hell this happened, but the section of the tunnel where I caved in is clear. The tunnel's been wired up with a few lights, too. Wanted to see if maybe you sent someone in while we were off shift. The That's tunnel cool is a topa. You, you know, I didn't see anybody else either, so... But a few of the guys said they'd seen something running around in the woods surrounding the site. I think it's probably a deer or whatever, but seeing all the ruckus we're making out here, you know? But they all insisted it was something else. Something like a, a real tall man. No, I think he's definitely smiling less. Might just be some environmentalist moron trying to cause some shit, but... Slender you know, man! He ain't done nothing, so I told him to keep focused on the project. For safety's sake, we're gonna avoid the tunnel until I hear back from you. Alright, bye now. Okay. Message Slenderman. three. March 25th, 4.56 p.m. Hey, Frank, it's Paul again. He looks sadder now. Frank sent out to take photos just left, but, uh, well, he seemed totally fine when he got here, but we practically had to carry him back to his car when he was done. I don't know if he caught whatever's going around, but figured you should know. Also, we found some really old shit down there, oh, Frank. Oh, shit, wow. Now, I ain't no historian, but... We got a guy on the crew who used to do archaeology work or whatever. And, My next thought, I don't know, the Earth is a tulpa. <gasps> but just there's small artifacts down there, like weapons and trinkets and whatever. I'll have him draft up a report for you and send it your way. Cool. Because, you know, I feel like he'd be interested and he can explain all this shit that better than I could anyways. Paul. His name's Otto Rivers. Yeah. That's about it. Alright, bye. Bye-bye. Message 4. March 26th, 1.03 p.m. Something ain't right here. Oh, Coach something ain't worse, right. More sick. I, I feel okay so far. I, I don't know how long that's gonna last. You sad. I saw that thing the guys have been talking the about. The thing. <gasps> last night, stalking around in the tree line. What is it? I, I swear it had a face. Okay. It's not Slender Man. Uh, a, a, anyways, just just call me back as soon as you can, Frank. Message five. Why does it? Why does he mention that it has a face? If it's a guy, of course it's gonna have a face. Can you tell us any other details that, you know, would be more terrifying? Like, I don't know, what, it's got like a tentacle hand or something? March 27th, 12.10pm. Uh, that makes it less scary. All our food is rotten. Oh no! Totally spoiled and covered in maggots. It's perfectly fine and stored. There wasn't any problems with the generator. Even if we lost power, I mean, it's the end of March. All our food looks like it's been left out in the heat for weeks. No idea what's going on. Please call me back. The tunnel! Perhaps it has a time dilation in it. That's why uh, stuff rots faster in there. And the tunnels, they put up lights and get developed by themselves. It's because it's going backwards and forwards in time. Like a washboard! Oh my god! Message 6, <laughs> March 27th, 4.02 p.m. It's Paul. We saw it again. Oh, he looks real sad now. out here with us. It, it's in the woods. And it's... It's watching us, goddammit. You guys think that's the thing that got, that, that got into our protagonist back there? I don't believe it. Who are you guys gonna put up those fancy hunting cameras and see if we can catch anything? Maybe Locals fucking with us? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But yeah. Anyways, I, I just... It's getting more buggy. <laughs> Motion detected! What we got? What we got? What we got? Huh? Message 7. Fuck you! Date and time unavailable. Okay. Message 7. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, motion! Yay! It's always right before 12, huh? What is it? Just some funky fog? Oh, March 29th, 10, it kinda looks like that one tulpa that was a that was a what's it called? A manifestation of an emotion back then. Oh my god, I saw it! <laughs> god fucking damn it. Uh, Paul not feeling good. Well, a lot of the crew here is sick now, and they're sort of like, and, and unresponsive. Oh, no! 
I tried a bunch of contacts for them, but they didn't know they just keep ringing. The phones, they just, they just kept ringing and ringing and ringing. Nobody picked up from any number we tried. Nobody picked up. No answer machines either. We had to call the hospital and same thing. Just ringing. Just tried 911, still nothing. I figured the phones were fucked up, but... They cut the phone lines. <laughs> Paul, keep it together, keep it together, finish the report. <sighs> Looks like he really needs to poop. I can't call Maybe he does. Going around. My skin, it feels, it feels tight, a lot of pressure behind my eyes. My, my teeth feel like they're, they're humming, yeah. vibrating. You know what? Yeah, I probably call it sick to work. Across that tunnel. I, I feel like it... I need to figure out what's down there. Okay. I think whatever's down there could help my crew. But most of all, I feel like something really bad's gonna happen if I don't go down, so... Yeah, this so feels I'm very elfish, right. you're right. Very cold to You're right, you're right, you're right. You're right. <laughs> At 12. At 12. All right, what's happening? More funny fog. Very nice. Very nice. Very cool. Very very great. Oh, more funny fog. Oh, camera distortion. Oh, is that the topa? Holy shit, it was right in front of the screen. That's terrifying. Okay, great. Message 9. March 30th. Time unavailable. like me. <laughs> he looks like that one filter where it gets gradually more and more like squished together. So you grandpa? One pair of undies down. <laughs> oh. Oh. Continue to investigate the recent did have a face. Swept across Northern Berkshire County. Many of its residents in a state of anxiety and panic. It was two weeks ago when the okay. emergency broadcast this system was seven. engaged to warn residents to secure their homes due to the activity of a group of individuals who had been targeting and breaking into people's right. homes. We're breaking into the houses. Authorities right, cool. have since confirmed that the attacks were in fact part of an organized criminal effort and have been attributed to a local anti-American militia Government group cover operating up. out of western Massachusetts called... Police have made numerous arrests in connection to... Militia and officials continue to release statements to assure the public that they are safe once again. We've seen a lot of credible information over the past couple weeks, and the investigation is still ongoing. We'll get closer to the by the day. Thankfully, due to the continued efforts of law enforcement, maybe the home invaders were possessed construction normal. workers. Back maybe to normal. back to normal. To normal. Back to normal. Back to normal. To normal. Same thing reminds me of the Stephen King book, Desperation. Maybe there's some inspiration there. I haven't read Desperation, though, so I wouldn't be too sure. <laughs> They're babies. They stuck together. Back to normal for residents of Berkshire County. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is a new video, by the way. We switched over from, from, what, 7 to 8 just then. Well, that broadcast went completely tits up, didn't it? I've been getting chewed out by our asshole CIA liaison for the past two hours. What the fuck happened? We're looking into it, sir, but we experienced new issues with the broadcast on our end, so our engineers believe that the signal was hijacked before we even reached the transmitter, but... Once we started receiving this transition, yeah, cool. But by then, the hijacker had already said everything they wanted to say, hadn't they? 
What a complete fuck up. They made us look like a fucking joke. I'm sure I'm not the like show. So it wasn't Speaking digitally which? altered just for us. Apparently it aired like that. So everyone in the country knew that he was lying. Great. Gone. Where the fuck is he? I can't get hold of him and he needs to get in here and read a statement to help clean up this fucking mess. Uh, well, we've been trying to reach him. We've called him multiple times. We've tried his picture. We've asked around to see if anyone's heard from him, but nothing. Right now we've got Gerald standing in for him tonight at Donda's show. You've been to his house? Uh, well, no. I just thought that maybe he'd, he'd be upset if I did that. He was Get taken. Get in your fucking car and go the to his fucking house. The news anchor was taken. I don't care if you Don's get down his front door and drag him here by his ear. You Liam, sorry, Liam's studio. next. Do you understand? Yes, Mr. Rosenbaum. Of course, I'll do that right now. There's some real powerful people depending on us right now. They need us to manage the response to these events. Oh, why is his name Alan here, but he called him Mr. Wilson? Huh? To let the public know what's going on, and the last thing we need is it going wider than it already fucking has. So do what you need Wilson to Bob. do, or I'm going to replace you with some producers who actually know how to produce a fucking show. Sorry, oh, the file you are trying to access has been destroyed and can no longer be executed or Rosenbaum. retrieved. Please choose another file. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Ah. Instead of taking our file and trying to destroy our trying. Sorry, oh, this per- okay. Warning, anomalous file detected. This file should not exist. Are you sure you wish to proceed? Yeah. Opening file. Open that shit Auto for me, Alexa. Opening the biggest personal log. Final. Cool. My name is Ronald Eugene Rivers. The date Hi. is April 8th, 1987. Okay. About a quarter past nine at night. Okay. I was involved in the Morelli construction project at Mount Greylock. Oh. I was hired due to my background in anthropology and archaeology. Oh, this was the guy that checked the old stuff. I worked and excavated a number of different historical sites. Paul Morelli took me on after securing a government contract for the Greylock project. Cool. I'm recording this because... I believe my life is in danger. Oh no, Arnold! I likely don't have a lot of time left, so I need to leave some kind of record of my findings. Okay. What On you March got? On March 24th, our crew came across tunnels in the mountain that have a multitude of ancient markings and artifacts. On March 25th, Paul cleared the interior of the mountain and asked me, accompanied by a small crew, to look through the tunnels and record notes on what I was able to recognize. I was then to report to one of the project directors named Frank Porter, to offer my perspective on our findings. I kept this to myself at the time, but what we discovered in that mountain was not normal. Not only did I see the impact it was having on the crew, but certain aspects of my findings did not make any sense. Many of the artifacts were pre-colonial. Pre Some were from Native American tribes, but there were sense. other artifacts. Some were so American, and mm -hmm. others were shockingly Clovis in nature. Finding Clovis artifacts here means that people have been coming to Mount Greylock since at least 11,000 BCE. Whoa. But that's not all, no. There are artifacts I found that could potentially be from even earlier Paleo-American cultures that we have yet to even begin studying. Then... There were artifacts and writings left by the cultures that were pre-Columbian in nature. Transoceanic contacts prior to Columbus reaching the Americas has always been largely a theory, but, but the artifacts in this mountain, they, they prove it. <gasps> Ancient Chinese, Arabic, Indian, Roman, Spanish, Viking, even ancient Greek and Egyptian are finding Whoa. that they alone would change world history as we know it today. I'll admit, the anthropologist in me was thrilled. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I figured it had to be a hoax, but I'm confident that it's all authentic. But my excitement was soon replaced with a looming fear and anxiety. How could such a place be so important to so many cultures for so long? Well, thank you, never answered the super chat. Super chat, I've got the Clovis people are one of the first people to show up in America. Their artifacts were pretty much only in the northwestern area like Alaska. Oh, thank you for clearing that up. I was wondering what Clovis meant. Thank you so much. I was just thinking of Code Geass the entire time. My bad. There must be something in right. here. 
Let's keep reading. Whatever it was. Reading and watching. Well, that's why I left the project. The tunnels all connected to a series of chambers deep into the interior of the mountain. That's where the majority of the relics were found. There were old baskets of herbs and spices. Oh, there is pottery, old stuff. Weapons and Drink. Armor, talismans, Go on, cheers. Other religious items. Beverage. Countless other things. Beverage. But all of it was there purposely as offerings. Offerings? So there's something in the tunnels demanding offerings. This is very eldritch, isn't it? On topic, huh? <laughs> Holy! There's dawn right tonight. There's Mount Greylock hiking. It was Very billions cool. of years ago when Ooh. our planet was still mostly fire and rock that a Mars-sized planet that had been drifting through our solar system collided directly with the Earth. Cool. The impact was so powerful and violent that the rogue planet was blown into countless pieces of debris. This debris collected to form our moon. Many of the pieces of the unknown planet remain inside the Earth to this day. Okay. So we gotta keep the moon in mind I'm then. All right. Um, yes, I'm calling to report Another a break Thatcher. in at my co-worker's house. Ooh, what a break in. Name, my name is Liam Hollander. Okay, Liam, you said this was your co-worker's house. What is your co-worker's address? Uh, it's uh, Parker Parker Hill Road in Adams, uh, number 491. 491 Parker Hill Road, is that right? Yes. Okay, can you tell me, is anybody hurt? Smash, shut up! Liam, are you still with me? Yes, sorry. Is anybody hurt? Yes. Oh no, it's dawn! Chekhov's gun, and I'm like, I'm like shooting, I'm like, I'm like checking the bullet before it's shot, but like, could it be that Mount Greylock was the site where the rogue planet p crashed onto the Earth? And so it left like some, some mysterious ruins there where it crashed, which have been buried up over the centuries. So there's moon tunnels we need to worry about, perhaps, you think? Uh-oh, that's not good. But I can feel it, whatever's down there. I could feel it. It was like being trapped in a fever dream. I swear I could hear a voice and even felt compelled Crash doesn't to usually her. make a mountain. I suppose so, but at the same time, it's been super long, you know? Whatever's down there. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I haven't been right since What's I... What's the question I, now, right? How many of these COVID things are there? there? How many tunnels? How many creatures? How many entities? I, I can't sleep. Just droning. Always droning. But, but that, that doesn't matter right now. Considering that it's a planetary crash, I doubt there would be anything left, even less a completely intact chamber. Who knows? Tis a mystery. I informed Mr. Porter in my report that the archaeological findings in the mountain... Perhaps they built a temple on top of it. ...are of monumental historical importance 
and that there is certainly more to be discovered, and I recommended discontinuing construction there. But it's not as though I have any authority over the project. The drone is I fully expected to be ignored. Mr. Porter called me on the evening of March 28th, and we spoke on the phone briefly. This is stupid. It was as I thought. He disregarded my concerns. I informed him that I wasn't going to return to the site. He insisted I did, said I was a valuable asset to the project, even offered me a substantial raise, and wanted me to lead a specifically organized team that would clear the tunnels of artifacts before excavation would continue. Did you just not? I, quote, no, quote, I didn't do anything. Could be responsible for the biggest historical finding of all time, he said. I refuse again. I won't put a price on my sanity or my health, especially after seeing what was happening to it's the group. It feels almost like an ending to the bunker thing. Morelli Greylock event. Oh. Group C. Morelli was data. Paul's last name. Profile for patient B3590. Rockford, Thomas. Al formations. Oh, fuck. Notes. Communicative. Patient prone to spontaneous violent outbursts. Treatment of heavy sedation recommended. Only communicate while patient is restrained or via intercom. Okay. Now loading. Profile for patient. What happened to this B9231. Man? Washington, Samuel. Okay. They're all part of the construction team. Okay. Oh. Notes. He don't look so good. Patient suffers from constant state of severe paranoia and delusions, resulting in unpredictable violent outbursts. Standard treatment ineffective. High dose xylazine is recommended. Only communicate while patient is restrained or via intercom. Holy now shit. Loading. Profile okay. for patient. B6670. Herrera, Ramon. Okay. What happened to this poor guy? Oh! Notes. Uncommunicative. Patient appears to be in catatonic state. Warning, patient may sit up very suddenly, without provocation, to project a vomit at any staff in area. Oh, okay. Patient's vomit is extremely corrosive and emits nerve gas. Oh, shit, that's not good. treatment is ineffective. Studies must be conducted with full anti-corrosive gear and air purifying respirator equipped on all staff involved. Now loading. Tear gas Profile and for corrosive patient. vomit? What are you, a left Fleming, for dead enemy? Formations. No way, it's German. Notes. <laughs> Uncommunicative. Warning. Patient will attack on site. Oh, fuck. Do not interact. Immunity to pain. Patient exhibits cannibalistic tendencies. Oh, no. All treatments ineffective. Immediate euthanasia recommended. Now loading. That's rough. Profile for patient. Okay, B4041. another one. This guy looks so oh, friendly. Scott. I wonder if we're going to see what happened to Paul. Oh. Notes. Communicative. Communicate with caution. Warning, patient actively pretends to be benevolent and friendly. Strong homicidal and cannibalistic tendencies. Oh. Killed and partially consumed six staff members on April 6, 87. That's rough, Patient buddy. laughed hysterically during the attack. All treatments ineffective. Immediate euthanasia or permanent restraint for further study recommended. Now loading. Profile oh, for okay. patient. B7992. Kowalski, Edward. Kowalski, analysis. Al formations. Notes. Okay, this one looks like Derma. I'm sorry. Hazardous. Warning: Patient possesses inhuman power of suggestion and influence over others. That's Derma. Do not interact. Derma does that. Oh Immediate my god. Immediate euthanasia recommended. Now loading. Profile for patient. B1584. Rafferty, John. Formations. Yuka, why? Oh, Notes. he don't look so good. He looks upset. Hazardous. Patient appears to be deceased. No vital signs. Patient's body not decomposing. Warning, hmm. staff have become ill after even brief time spent in patient's room. Illness disregards protective suiting. Immediate quarantine required for all victims. Mortality rate post exposure currently 92%. Oh, fuck, that's Survivor not good. subject to rapid physical and mental malformations. All treatments ineffective. Immediate remote euthanasia recommended. So this guy is... I consider he's just making people lucky sick. To not oh be no, he's fogging. Right Oddly, <laughs> he quickly accepted my second refusal. Wished me luck in my future endeavors. But before I could say anything else, he hung up. Okay, I guess but that's when Paul started right freaking choice. out. 
I heard something awful happened up at Mount Greylock. And then simultaneously, there are all of these things that have been happening around the mountain. Ooh. The home invasions, the dead bodies that fell from the sky over Cheshire. Yeah, they, the they let the something out. So many other unexplainable things. They all must be related. I wonder how the other 8% ended up. Yeah, me how. too. I've connected Jeez. with a local investigator who's been trying to get to the bottom of this. Okay, cool. I've Good. shared with him everything I have. Though I feel that I've been being watched. Oh. I feel a looming threat that I can't really explain. <gasps> Would the government really send someone to kill me over this? I feel like I'm paranoid. Like I've lost some of my mind. But I came home from the grocery store the other day and my front door was unlocked. And I know <gasps> I had it's it It's in your house! Left. I scanned my entire house for traces of anything, but found nothing out of the ordinary. This literally sounds like Jerma talking to Jerma. Jerma moment! Let's fucking go. Oh, God. Saying it out loud like this, it makes me realize how crazy I sound. I've always been a rational man. There's a logical explanation behind everything. that I put all of this into a recording. Perhaps that was what I needed to snap me out of this. Honestly, I feel much better just talking about it. Is that good, Arnold? Oh! This can't be. Oh my god! That's my basement door! <gasps> no, 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 no! Camcorder! Oh, where's the damn camcorder? There it is. Thank god! Oh fuck, we're gonna get a POV? My bedroom closet. Outlast shit. I need to keep the tape recorder running. Okay. I'm hiding in here with my files. If something happens to me and you find any tapes or files somehow, please bring it to the investigator, Jimmy Melgram of North Adams. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Shh, shh. Why do you hide if you're just going to talk in there? Shut the fuck up. Can't watch every time. Come on out, it's the police. <laughs> Accessing GBS properties, 101, WRAV, FM, radio station. Oh my god. Date of broadcast, December 13th, 1963. Segment, announcement of the National Access Initiative. That is funny. Beginning it's a good playback. joke, though. It's a good joke. In one of his first acts after his historic succession, okay. President Lyndon B. Johnson's administration has announced an upcoming program that will revolutionize well, Arnold's fucking dead. And bring critical home electronics into every American household. The National Access it uses Initiative, the voice of the people it kills, I guess. Most likely. That all citizens have Why did it make a baby noise? Probably because it's killed a baby. Tools ...and ways to stay informed, fostering connectivity, security, and unity across the nation. Under Holy. this groundbreaking initiative, 
eligible American households will receive packages containing a myriad of electronics so that okay. citizens may stay properly engaged with one another and remain knowledgeable regarding important events. Okay. The electronics such as telephones, televisions, and radios. These packages will also include items aimed at keeping families safe with devices such as smoke alarms, burglar alarms, and even flashlights. These things will it uses the last phrases of its victims. It seems like it, huh? Communities, but to remain prepared for any emergency as well. President Johnson himself was quoted as saying... I wonder if we're going to hear Arnold's death scream again. Innovation, it is Did Arnold even scream? Every I wonder if we'll hear his whimpers then. As they navigate the challenges I know, I screamed. I screamed very loud. I got very scared. Ever increasing technological <sighs> These electronics packages are being made available to American households mm -hmm. through a partnership with world-renowned technology manufacturer... Okay, we're getting free shit Simeo from Simeo Dime. Dime. Yay! President Kennedy... Okay, what? Well, sorry, hold on. Simeo Dine USA. President Kennedy says no to Simeo Dine USA. Uh... In a surprising twist that has left many Americans perplexed, President Kennedy has... Uh, refused to engage in a partnership with Simeo Dine USA, which has something, something, a something progress, something at something, something, something of Americans across to vital technology. Access! Access to vital technology in, in a something, something, President Kennedy cited something, something, Far has decision, but something that the just justification behind his something stance and the something something for the something so something something. I can't read this. Something something. Yeah. All right. Well. The technology cool. giant's expertise in creating cutting-edge revolutionary technology is Simeo Dine working with the uh, with the creatures. It seems like they were against the creatures, considering that they made that tape. Oh, they made that tape, you know? But like, at the same time, that tape did lie about a couple things. And Simeodyne has been, uh, what's it called? Has been experimenting with the creatures. The, uh, the thought forms. So could it be that Simeodyne has been taken over by them? It's just like Gemini Entertainment all over Apology again. Over a little bit. Decades, but it's good that we have the context. Name, and their gracious contribution to this initiative ensures that the devices provided will be of the highest quality. They made that... <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I punched my microphone by accident. Oh, he eeping! Good night, sweet dreams. ...and benefits for American citizens. When asked for a quote during a press conference earlier this week, President of Simeodyne USA, Percival C. Rothwell, had a lot to say. The National Access Initiative represents a milestone in our nation's journey towards progress and inclusivity. It's a reflection of the American government and Simeodyne USA's unwavering commitment to empower every American citizen, regardless of age, location, or income with the tools and resources I don't trust him, yeah, he's kind of freaking me out as well. I don't like how his skin fits around his cheeks. Right? This is just like this people has- this house has people in it all over again. It's crazy. Germa! <laughs> Maybe. Thirty-two okay. percent of American households still don't have a television in the house. Yeah, that's this okay. That's understandable. Are and are unable to respond to emergencies as quickly or efficiently. I mean, I guess. A much greater percentage of households have no smoke alarms. What? In the event of a fire. Okay, that one's atrocious. That's shocking of all. What is it? What? 29%? What do they do? That's fine. That's not, that's, 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 that's fine. Just, it's okay. I'll just die. Wow. Oh, there's a guy there. Hi. How you doing? 
People of all kinds of wonder. But you go, how will I, how will I what? How will I smoke in the house? <laughs> Don't do that. Don't smoke in the house. Stop you go find him. Hi. Kennedy didn't go for it. Oh. But you assured me he was available. Or was that just more of your bullshit? Oh. <gasps> he's gonna fucking expose our whole plan for the NAI program. What's the NAI program? We'll keep that in mind. If that fucking Nick thinks he's gonna expose Simeon, Mick? He's got another thing. Is that. that like an insult? Or is it well, person? Not the only ones he's pissed off lately. Oh. After rejecting Operation Northwoods, and then that executive order involving the Federal Reserve, there are a lot of snakes in the grass. Even though it's a soft slur. <gasps> I didn't know that! I'm so sorry! At Simeon USA, we're building the future. It's roots like for Irish. Oh, I'm so sorry! I didn't know! That's my bad. And its current president, I'll tell you one irrefutable fact. The most important one. All roads lead to connectivity. Okay. Without connectivity, we have no future. The Fun fact, JFK actually died in real life. Scary. Oh my we god, why would you tell me that? I'm so scared now. defeated they are, and the less likely they are to see the value of their own lives. Ugh. Okay, we're, we're back they to intruding. Have you seen the have you seen the car keys? Where is my goddamn super suit? And the only reason we are still Because many Irish surnames start with Mick. Oh, okay. Cool. That's a weird origin, but all right. The NAI program was a trap they are watching, they are listening. Fuck L LBJ. Uh, fuck Simeodine, I won't be your lab rat anymore. Okay. So there's some illegal experimentation, perhaps? Maybe? Not sure. Doesn't look good. Mmm, doesn't look good. We make a promise to continue to support you into the future as well. Whether it's from a lack of infrastructure or a lack of income. This... No this fucked up broadcast could also be because, like... I'm not really sure if the creatures can manipulate broadcasts, but it does seem like there is some fuckery going on over there, especially with the Dawn Shell. Um, they might be trying to expose Simeodine because they are trying to learn about the creatures and learn what makes them tick. So they want to get them, get rid of them, maybe? Perhaps? Not really sure. No one should be restricted access to potentially life-saving and life-enhancing technology. Lyndon B. Johnson. This what is, is that? The beginning. We have so much more planned so that Americans can all truly be equal in our society. Do you notice the shadows over people's faces and eyes are getting darker? Oh, they are! Scary. Accessibility. It is our belief that it is these three factors that make America the best Country it was a political world. pivot to attempt to ease racial tensions and improve lives for Americans, the great society thing. Oh, okay. Um. Oh. What's, what's back there? Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Mr. Rothwell also those are the, stated those that are the he... creatures that were in the, the Greylock Mountain place. Oh my god. Okay. I, I assume that's what the workers turned into, perhaps, because we only saw them, like, after everyone His went a little bit loony crazy. Hey. Available to American like, the actual first to creature was, um, the first creature was actually just, like, a little a fog, a mist. Not really sure, but they, they do have faces. Available to American households, but to police and fire departments, oh. schools, and to small businesses as well. The, the shadow is slowly starting to be able to touch things now. Maybe. To begin launching this landmark program right away. Yeah, right. Because they did say that that Tulpas, sorry, that thought. What's it called? I forgot. Tulpas. I'll just call them Tulpas. They did say that Tulpas can communicate by interacting with technology. That 
That could be what it's doing here. It's trying to tell us stuff. The Tulpa is communicating with us. Only in select areas, as construction crews from coast to coast prepare to establish important infrastructure that will support the Those National forms, yeah, Access Initiative he... program. Computer. Computer. Yay! Oh. This is someone else's imaginary friend? I can't find my glasses, so I can't really see you. Oh, they're over here. Hmm. Well, the fucking sounds like Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> he even I stood in the darkness like a fucking asshole. They were a little dirty, so I wanted to clean them for you. Hmm? Yes. Go die. She's going to die. She's dead as hell. She is so boned. I still can't really see because my eyes are so bad. You reach out and I'll put them into your hand. Thank you, Lord okay. Commander, for the super chat. Super chat. I didn't even thought LBJ was the 36th president. He took over after John F. Kennedy died as pursuant oh, to the government line of succession. current projections for a nationwide release are for some time between mid-1966 and early 1967. Citizens will be mailed informational packets regarding the Enough. National Access Initiative, including information on how to apply as the program becomes available in our area. Man. Oh, you good, Yuka? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Hello, you've reached Alex Marsh and Tiffany I'm fine. We're not able to get to the phone, so please leave a message after the tone and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Man. Okay, we're back to the funky footage of walking around in the forest. Thank you, Tash. Tail like for the super chat. Super chat, I need to tell you the tofu looking kind of mm hmm. It do be kind of mm hmm. I didn't get to see it because I panicked and closed my eyes and started screaming. But you know, I'm pretty sure it looks quite mm hmm. 
You have a great time. Smash your past, Tulpa. Go on, do whatever you need to do. Oh gosh. I love how much tension this series builds. Like, it's it's not cheap jump scares because there's so much build up for it. Is that a rat? Hey yo, what's up rat? I think it might be dead. Oh shit. It's pretty hot to be honest. Out of out of ten, how much would you smash? Okay, we're very focused on this dead rat here. Dead rats are a natural occurrence. You don't need to worry about it that hard. Relax. It's okay, it's just a dead rat. Okay, man. Don't, 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 come on, man. Don't be weird about it. Just let it rest in peace. Don't fucking eat it or anything. You're disgusting! Thank you, Lord Commander, for the super chat. Super chat. Arigato. And I thought Anons on X were bad. Bad eighth topas. Oh, what is eighth? Oh. Okay. A rat? Is that another Germa reference? Holy shit! That's, that's three Germa references! Oh my god. He's in a rubber room confirmed. Oh, we're back to the hey, receiver. Man. I'm just checking in. Hi. Could you please give me a call as soon as you can? Don't worry about work, either. Please. You're way more important, okay? Aww. Okay. I love you. Bye. Okay. Um, oh! Detention center! Is it? We lost the baby. Um, I stayed home for almost Is this Marsh? Alexander Marsh? I was just really worried about Tiffany. It is. It's Tiffany and Alexander. I think it was a message for Tiffany. Is that the bite of 37? Holy fuck! 
aside from any traditional indicators of struggle or violence, might be 80 though. Holy shit, what happened here? The rigor and lever mortis align with the estimated time of death. Of particular note, and the reason for this specialist report, yes, go on. It's an unusual finding on the abdomen, specifically below the sternum. Oh, fuck. She tripped and fell into the pentagram. Equally concerning is the absence of hemorrhaging in the surrounding tissues. Due in part to this, I have been able to ascertain that this symbol was carved into the skin post mortem. Oh, that's weird. In regard to timing, based so on was my carved on a corpse. I would say the cuts were likely made several hours after death. I'm sorry. I'll be consulting with forensic anthropologists and... Alright guys, I have a theory. You know how this is all happened in the US? You know how this is all happening in the US? You see this symbol? That looks like a fucking maple leaf to me. Canada is starting an uprising and they are summoning demons to do it. <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> Watch out! Watch out, USA! <laughs> Watch the fuck out! Everyone's gonna be speaking French Canadian next fucking year! <laughs> Not the Canadian! Symbology experts do not understand the nature and potential significance of the symbol. And we trust him! The entire country of Canada is top of us! It's too late! <laughs> Of an immediate and right, in-depth sorry, sorry. investigation. <laughs> Let's keep going. This aspect of the case should be treated with utmost priority due to its unusual and unnerving nature. Okay, Tiffany, we're recording now. Okay. Okay, it's Tiffany. Oh, Tiffany. It's... You just had your sixth birthday, didn't you? It's baby Tiffany. Yeah. There's, so there's party? two Tiffany's. There's Big Tiffany, yeah. who's dead, and then there's Little Tiffany. How was it? Good. That's good. You're awfully quiet today. Are you seeing them again? Yes. Oh. Can you see them right now? Yes. Where are they? Where are they, Tiffany? Where are the tulpas, Tiffany? <laughs> Where's the drugs, Tiffany? Where's the drugs? Everywhere. Where's the money, Lebowski? Private Everywhere. Oh, case shit. file 87-091-HA for my home archives. Okay. The date is May 19, 1987. Time is 8.03 p.m. I conducted an examination of Miss Tiffany Crisaldi today. Her body arrived shortly before I was to leave the Okay, so we've gathered that Tiffany Crisaldi, she has a history of seeing imaginary people. Tulpas, I guess. So that... What the fuck? You replaced her nose with my mouth. Anyway, so that might be why she was pre preconditioned to, uh, well, have her baby be stolen by the tulpas and that, that's also probably why they she was she was saying that they followed her right maybe she wasn't it's, it's it's probably not like she was involved in the experiments it's probably from her childhood so she had a lot of imaginary friends and she assumes instantly that they took her baby maybe yeah yeah she tulpa now <laughs> it's crazy that man has a hot voice all right we've got one smash for man Though it seems misfortune loomed over the proceedings. Electrical flickers and inexplicable. So she was like a good vessel? Yeah, I think so. Ah, repairs may be required. I wanted to refrain from mentioning this part whatsoever, but Go on. But I feel compelled to do so. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Tiffany's haunted, maybe? In storage yes. And moving on to cleaning up. Yes. My sister Sarah mentioned that she'd 
heard what sounded like a, baby? a woman. A woman! Crying. <gasps> coming from the direction of the cooler. Oh, fuck. Did I it follow her? Off her remark and it followed her, her. Telling her she was lightly stressed or overtired. And I continued. Was that the topa that own. killed Tiffany? Is that why it's I crying in a woman's didn't voice? I to tell her that. I. You? Heard it as well. <gasps> oh, shit! Alright, here's the morgue video. Okay. Oh, Are you fuck. ready, Tiffany? Oh, I fuck. Think so. All right, Tiffany. Are you nervous? Yeah. Okay. I'll need you to follow my instructions, okay, Tiffany? As long as you do that, everything will be fine. Can you do Baby that? Baby goes into the back wounds. Okay. <laughs> Good. I'm going to play some sounds that will help you through this exercise. Back to baby Tiffany, sorry. Now close your eyes. Bro, Just if I was a baby Tiffany, I would be freaking the fuck out right now. I hate this music. Clown ass music. I want you to picture yourself standing outside your Dr. house Pebba. in your front yard. Okay. It's a beautiful day out with big fluffy clouds in the blue sky. Yay! No one else is around. Now look down at the grass around you and watch how each blade moves in a gentle breeze. Now look for the that CD that was supposed to simulate having Alzheimer's? And look around and see the trees <laughs> around little... your yard. Oh, it's all a burning memory. Oh gosh, sorry. The leaves as it passes through. Make the wind blow a little harder. Thank you, Lord Commander, for this super cash. Yeah, I need to remember bit. this. There is a, quite a bit of Jungian psychology you involved with this. It's up to you now to figure out the rest. Okay. When Wait, there was a mention now, of Jungian psychology just a while ago, right? Okay. towards the front door of your house. Step. Step. Ages ago. Step. And with each step you take, it looks like the day's getting later and later. Soon the golden rays of the sunset are shining against your house. The front door is closer now, but you still have some more steps to go. Help me, step, step. I'm stuck. Step. Step. I wish I was that tissue. Step. There's no tissue. I'm just. Step. Sucking it into my my face. Now you're only what? three steps from the door. Step. <clears throat> the what? sun vanishes behind the trees, going down. It's nighttime now. Step. The stars begin twinkling in the sky above, and the moon shines its soft glow over everything around you. Step. You arrive at the front door. Reach out your hand, turn the door knob. What if your door doesn't have a knob? What if it's like your house voice looks activated? Like it always does at night time, except okay. you're the only one here now. All alone. You take off your shoes. First, the right shoe. Does it fuck it up entirely if you take off the left shoe and first? The left shoe. Damn, they give you a lot of time to take off your shoes. Let's go. Yuka is thirty percent Yuka. It's true. Against your feet. Everything is in its proper place. Okay, now I'm gonna get to you. You're going to walk quietly to your bedroom now. You come to the stairs and begin to walk up. You hold on to the banister as you go, letting your hand slide up. Step. 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 I know I'm breaking t tension here, but I just can't stop thinking about that one time I downloaded an MP3 of like this hypnotism thing where it was like it hypnotized you into thinking you were a My Little Pony Pony. And it would go through like all these steps and it'd just be like, it'd be like this 
where it just feel like it, it tells you to like imagine a place and then you're taking steps, right? And then it's just like with every step you take, you feel your body twisting, your bones cracking, your hands slowly melting together into glorious hooves. And it's just like, <laughs> get some thinking about it. I get some thinking about it because it's just, it just, it's too similar. Did it work? No, it did not work. I just thought it was fucking ridiculous the whole time. It was stupid as hell. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry. Let's let's keep going. Sorry. Back to being scared. You reach the second floor hallway. Everything is in its proper place. You are alone. Nobody else is here with you. You look to the right and you can see your bedroom door closed at the end of the hall. And you start walking nice and calmly. Why'd well, you try to do that? Oh, uh, because I really like my little see pony back there. closer with each step. I want it to you be my pony the pink Sona. flower stickers that you put on it two years ago. And the small wooden sign that reads Tiffany. Tiffany! With the little blue bird in the corner. Step. I thought you had a brony face? Well, I was actually the target Step. audience. So it's not weird, right? Step. Cloth, cloth. Shut up! You're at your bedroom Shut door up. now. You reach out your hand and grasp the doorknob and turn it. The door opens, and you can see that your room looks just like it did the last you saw it. Nice. You see the colorful quilt on this your This music bed. reminds me of the coffin of Andy and Lele. You see dresser with all the stickers and scuff marks, just like always. Your stuffed Cloth. animals are all resting up. by your purple toy box. You feel comfortable. You feel safe. You are alone. A lot of door knobs, instructions unclear, balls got stuck in the dishwasher. How? You didn't even mention the dishwasher. Tell me what you see. It's. It's a door next to my window. That's right. It's a door. It's, it's adorable. Like Alright, okay. Um, it looks black. Okay. It has weird marks on it. Oh, well, that's not good. The wood looks weird. Walk to the door and open it. Oh fuck. I'm scared. It doesn't matter if you're scared. Then this doctor you sucks. Must open the door. Fuck you, Dr. Blank. Thank you, Jay, Good for job, the super Tiffany. chat, super chat. I only got the clock. Tell me what's on the other side of the door. Oh, shut up, shut up. It's a small room. Okay. Somebody's in there. <gasps> no, Tiffany, you're alone. No, no, there's someone here, he's facing away from me, he's standing and tall, he's very tall. Tiffany, you are alone, nobody is it, else is Is it there. like the guy from the mountains? Now tell me what else is in the room. There's a TV. Was that Tiffany's tulpa that started it? The screen is all fuzzy. Fuck you, and Tiffany. The man is watching it. Tiffany. I want you to focus on removing the man from your mind. When I snap my fingers, he will be gone. You will be alone. A really snappy the man shaking. His body is cracking. Okay, Tiffany, I'm going to count down from five. When I snap my fingers, you will return to the real world. Five. You're feeling more awake. He's now. turning around. Four. Everything around you is becoming He's amazing. looking at me. He sees me. Three, Tiffany. You can feel the chair you're sitting in again. Two, everything around you fades to the blackness behind you. One, full control of your body. Zero, we're awake, Tiffany. You'll return to reality now. Super 
Hi, arigato. You got under hypnosis. Be like the form they promised me is great, but my transition will be agonizing. <laughs> yeah. What is he doing here? So when he pulled her out, did the topa come with her? He yanked them both out. Maybe. Oh fuck. That's pretty. Oh, that's a good. That's a good theory. Okay, what's happening here? We're cutting off wood off a of, off a tree. Is this like bark? Man, they're doing surgery! They're doing surgery on a grape! Sorry, on a stick! That's crazy! Oh no, wait, is this a dead rat? It's a dead rat. Okay, dead rat has a tape in it. What the fuck? Gun digest. This is the rat. My bad. I didn't quite see it, I guess. Is he in the rubber room? The rubber room with the rats? Yes. Rats generally do not have tapes in them. Thank you. Oh my god, it's coming up! Holy shit! Okay. Now, real quick before we see the story, uh, Cosmic has a theory. Let's go. Can I hear it? This is probably a stretch, but I wonder if the phantom baby was the topa that got pulled out. Like, it existed within her, sort of. Then it became the baby when she wished for it, and finally it just vanished itself out of her. That could be it. Maybe. That sounds... It sounds like it would make sense in my brain, but I'm not quite getting it. I'm not sure. I don't know why. I feel like it would be, though. I feel like it would be. That sounds very correct. <coughs> I don't know though. I don't know. <laughs> the Germaverse expands. Do you think Germa has a tape inside him? Maybe? Sorry, that was a random question. Alright. The morgue, we're back. Alright, Tiffany, start doing something weird. Oh, there it is! You, you can't, you can't, you can't cut him up, Yuka. Oh, fuck! Tiffany! Tiffany, no! Tiffany, don't become Whiteface! That's weird! No! That's the wrong, wrong, wrong media franchise! Jerma has a whole DVD collection inside of me. You think he has Shrek 4? Oh my god. She turned into Michael Jackson. <laughs> what? How? She didn't even eat. All right, what's going on here? We're locking our doors. Oh, we're unlocking our doors. Very dumb decision. Very dumb decision. They are inside the walls. Oh fuck. What is this? Is this a small room? Hold on. Is this like? Is this like what Tiffany said? Where there's a small room? No. Okay, maybe I am going insane. Sorry, my bad. It's just a closet, I think. Maybe. Alright, we're closing it. Nothing going in or out, baby! Baby, you should smack the door a couple times and just be like, Yeah, nothing not gonna get through this. Oh, okay, never mind. We're unlocking it again. Okay, we're, are we just testing the defense system? Are we gonna lock someone in here? Or are we gonna lock someone out here? What's gonna, what's happening here? Okay, we're reopening the door. Great. Okay. Oh! This is the sacrifice room. Lovely. Is this where Tiffany was the die? Wait. It opens inwards, but you put a fucking wooden beam on the outside of the door. 
sir? Are you on drugs? Okay, we got a videotape, we got some outlets. What are we playing on the tape? What are we playing on the tape? Okay, here we go. Is this the rat tape? This is not the rat tape. The rat tape is smaller. Well, I guess that's the whole series for now, then. Hooray! Look at me getting recommended my own videos. What is this? Very silly. Anyways, I guess that's it for the series for now. We're, we're caught up with Greylock. What do you guys think about it? Thoughts? Ideas? Oh, Miori, of course, yes. Yes, of course, Miori. <laughs> we should watch that. Yeah, yeah, we should watch that ukulele. You're right, you're right. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll... Maybe... Ukulele. You're right, you're right. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll... Maybe... Are you enjoying this, guys? Is this what you guys wanted? Oh no! <laughs> Are you enjoying oh, no. this, guys? Is this what you guys wanted? Oh no! <laughs> Are you enjoying oh, no. this, guys? This is so is this weird! You Thank you, Lord Commander, for the super chat. Super chat. I really got the. Did you try a this Midwest so Angelica? Uh, Thank you, Lord Commander, no? for the super chat. Super chat. I really There's got so the. many. There's gonna be yukas all over the uh, world. Like no? The yuka is going to be the new so topa. It's <laughs> gonna be the. It's the new. The yuka new epidemic. It's gonna be the. 2023. The yuka new epidemic. You 2023. Oh god! <laughs> oh, the thought forms are manifesting at once! Heck yeah, you know it, baby! The voices! The voices! I'm in your head! I'm in your walls! I'm in your floors! I'm under your bed! I am tickling your toes at night! Thank you, Tyler Novak, for the super chat! Super chat! I'm in your bed! I'm tickling your toes at night! Thank you, Tyler Novak! You go forever! Banish the Yopa! Thank you, Lil Pork Chop, for the super chat! Stop that. <laughs> Repeated yes. <laughs> Silly. Thank you everyone for coming to the stream today. That was pretty spooky. I screamed quite a few times. They have some really good scenes. The tension is absolutely insane. Oh my goodness. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But like, wow, I really am excited to see what happens next. I want to know what happened to Tiffany. Like, what's Tiffany going to do now? And like, how did, how did Andrew start doing like, stuff to do with Simeo, Simeo Dan, Simeo Dan? I need to know! Give me the answers! And like, I need, I want to know like, what was the deal with the tunnels? And like, what happened to Paul? Because he said he went, he went deeper into the tunnels, but then we never heard from him again. We didn't even see his corpse in the in the uh, in the whole whole like patient thing ordeal. Yeah, I think that is Tiffany's voice being used as bait. No, it was using her body as well. If you saw in that last scene, her her face peeked out of the uh, the mor the morgue place. Speaking of which, I think we're going to be playing Mortuary Assistant soon. Wouldn't that be fun? Are you guys excited for that? Because I'm, I'm not fucking excited. I'm gonna cry and scream and shit my pants. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord Commander, for the super chat. Super chat. Arigato, Yuka. Where is the... I don't know where it is. You can't keep asking me. Ask the damn baby. Gosh. Ugh. Anyway.
anyways, I'll catch you guys later for that. For now, I think that'll be it for stream today. I gotta get some lunch. I gotta shake off this feeling that I'm being watched. And I'm gonna try to stop thinking about things. I'm probably going to play video games and let my brain die so I don't conjure up anything, you know? You can swear it! Oh my god! Fuck! Shit! Piss! Ha ha! Ha! What are you gonna do? Call your mom? <laughs> what, are you, what are you gonna do? Call your mom? Are you gonna tell on me? Huh? Little pee pee piss piss boy? <laughs> you go, what did you do to the baby? I stole the baby. My baby now. Yoink. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you guys next time, alright? Um I think we might even come back to the series if it gets a couple more uh, a couple more tapes out. Yeah, maybe we'll revisit it someday. Yeah. Other than that, I'll catch you guys some other time, alright? Bye bye. It's been fun. Holy. We gotta watch more of this kind of stuff. Oh, by the way, if you guys have any recommendations. Feel free to just pop it in chat, or in the Discord, or wherever you feel like. I'll try my best to see it. Hmm, I'll give it a go. Cause this, this recommendation, this was class. This was good. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, yeah. Bye bye though. <laughs> bye bye! Have a great rest of your night, and sweet dreams! Good night! Try not to think about it too hard. Bye bye. Wow!